All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep my life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, man. Um, salute to everybody out there that's going to listen to this video. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the situation with the Milwaukee Bucks and Damian Lillard. Um, very 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 disturbed uh in the aftermath of what i've seen um in the past few weeks uh, with the bucks uh, they have lost six out of the last seven games if i'm not mistaken and um i'm just gonna say it man uh it's time for the bucks to bench damian lillard uh and just move on from him at the end of the season uh let him take a lead from the team and just say he has personal issues going on that he wants to get fixed and just let him leave from the team. Let me start from the beginning. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks organization panicked uh, when um, Chris Middleton was hurt. They panicked and made the wrong move and traded Drew Holiday. Uh, they did that because Chris Middleton was hurt and they really couldn't move Chris Middleton at that time because he was still out and injured. So they panicked and made any move, and they traded Drew Holiday, which was the biggest mistake you could ever do because Drew Holiday unlocked the team, and he gave you the championship. Now, him and Giannis alone did not win you the chip because Drew Holiday' offensive game was limited. It wasn't as much as what you needed on that level to overcome a, a offensive juggernaut like Boston. You were pushing those guys six games, seven games, but it just wasn't enough because you needed that other offensive punch, but Middleton was always hurt. Now, you go get Chris Middleton back, right? He's back, comes back, inconsistent, getting hurt, in and out of the lineup. That has been a disaster. The guy they should have traded was Chris Middleton once he got healthy. They should not have traded Drew Holiday. Them trading Drew Holiday trading all of their championship-level defense, trading their chemistry, trading a glue guy, trading a dude who sacrificed and cared about the team and gave up everything for winning. You got to blame this on Giannis, too, because Giannis Antetokounmpo is the leader of the squad. Giannis Antetokounmpo, as soon as they wanted to trade Drew Holiday, he should have shut it down. I'm just going to be honest on this video, man. He should have shut it down, bro. The fact that he did not shut that down, he's compliant. He's compliant with the move. The fact that he did not shut that trade down. He should have went to the front office and said, look, I want a championship with Drew Holiday. If you guys trade Drew Holiday, I'm going to demand a trade. I'm out of here. Giannis didn't do it. Giannis was with the program. When they got Dame, Giannis is compliant. Period. No excuses. No excuses, man. Giannis is supposed to be the leader of the team. He has no leadership, no pulse on this team. And I believe in Giannis and Teddy Kumpo, man. And I'm so disappointed in this cat right now, bro. There ain't words to describe the disappointment I have in him right now, man. Because he talks all this talk about leadership. He has tasted champagne. He has been a world champion on his own back. And you are laying it over for Dame Lillard, a dude who is a, ma a, a matter of many, a, who is a master of nothing? This is who you landed over for? Dame has done nothing in his career as far as winning. He's done nothing. All he's done is he's been in a sorry team like Portland, right? Won some games, called himself lame dollar, had two great series in his NBA playoff career that people can only talk about those two series. When every other series, he flopped or got hurt or got cooked by the Golden State Warriors and Steph Curry or without Steph Curry, got cooked by Klay Thompson. And he's out of here, bro. It, it's sad. 
it's levels to the show, but it's sad that and it, and this dude, this same dude, top seventy five over Kyrie Irving, because the NBA had an agenda against this dude and didn't like uh, Kyrie. So you give Dame Lillard top seventy five. This dude has had a lot of things given to him, y'all. A lot of things given to him. His game getting exposed this year. Don't know about every single time you talk about it, it's an excuse from his fans. Oh man, uh, he misses his fam. Oh man, uh, 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 he doesn't want to be in Milwaukee. Oh, man, listen, you're a professional, bro. When you're a professional, your game travel. When you're a professional, you're expected to play under the most duress circumstances. Every other player out there in the NBA going through something. Every other player, whether it's family, all the stuff, most of them dudes don't even broadcast the stuff they're going through. But most every other player in the league going through something. These are all facts. All factual information. They all going through something. And I'm just keeping it real with everybody that's listening to this video. But only Dane gets excuses. Like, he the only one that's going through something. He get to pan pick his team. Nah, man, he wanted to go to Miami. That don't mean nothing. Just because he wanted to go to Miami don't mean nothing. What is that supposed to mean? Were we making a wish for Dame Lillard? Oh, so now if he would have went to Miami, he'd be making shots and playing this game. Man, nobody would have no excuses, man. You're a professional. You begged the whole time to get out of Portland after you criticized the Lakers for how they treated Russell Westbrook. And you said, this is why I stand in Portland. I'm loyal to the soil because the grass ain't always greener on the other side. And I like my routine here and I like what I have. And then you ran out the door on those people and demanded to be traded. Tried to force your way to one team. And the Miami Heat are lucky to not have you. Another dude who doesn't play no defense, jacks up bad shots, uncoachable, and unsustainable to play defense for one game and then quit again. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He absolutely got torched by Jalen Brunson. And this is a dude that y'all voted over Jalen Brunson for to start in the All-Star game. It's a sham. Jalen Brunson have outplayed Damian Lillard all season long. He is a better basketball player than Dame Lillard. You guys like the highlights. I like the grit, the grind, and the game. Jalen Brunson is everything Dame have, have been given to him. All-star game, starting selection, given to him. Top 75 all time, given to him. He should not have made it over Kyrie Irving. He should not have made it over Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard led his own team to the NBA Finals, and this dude couldn't make it over lame dollar. Make it make sense, man. And now the Milwaukee Bucks are getting everything they deserve. You gave away your heart and soul to your team. Then what do you do? You go fire the coach you won a championship with, Mike Budenholzer. You ain't like him, so you fired him, right? Fired him on the same week, at the same time that his brother he lost his brother. So the man going through something, you fire him. This, this is why the Milwaukee Bucks getting bad luck. You fire him while he's going through something with his brother. Right? Well, he's going to tell the truth, man. Even though all the flaws he had, he had a pulse on that team. It wasn't his fault that the team wasn't healthy. If y'all wanted the team to be healthy, you should have traded Chris Middleton, who was the one that kept getting hurt. The man kept having a short hand when Chris Middleton could not get over those injuries. But you fire Budenholzer. Okay, cool. You bring in Adrian Griffin, right? All right, cool. The players win games because they had the easiest schedule in the NBA to start the season. But they were struggling to beat the worst teams in the league. And then the players were complaining about Adrian Griffin because they didn't like his schemes and the way he was approaching the game. And he was trying to do different things that they felt like they were too veteran to do as far as schemes and stuff like that. Even though they were 30 and whatever they were, 30 and 13 or whatever they were, right? So the ownership listened to them, run him out, bring in Doc Rivers, right? Instead of blaming the players for not doing a job with a new coach like you're supposed to because you wanted the old coach gone, what do y'all do? Y'all flop on Doc Rivers. Dame Lillard out here. Inconsistent on defense. Inconsistent on offense. But here's the gimmick right here, right? This is how I knew it was a joke. So then you go to All-Star Weekend. They ain't can't hit a shot. All during the regular season, he can't hit no shots. Then all of a sudden during All-Star Weekend, this dude can't miss. 
He hitting threes from all over the court. He hitting threes from the guy that ain't going to parking lot. Make it make sense to us, y'all. So he goes to All-Star Weekend, steals the moment of that boy in Indiana with the Pacers to go out there and win the fake three-point contest when he can't hit a three in the real game this year. And everybody said, oh, man, ticket. Uh, he going through personal issues, man. Chill, bro. So he wasn't going through personal issues in Indiana in, in All-Star Weekend when he couldn't miss from the three-point line, when the man was literally pulling up from half court, hitting threes. What was his excuse when he was hitting all those threes in the All-Star game? From half court, pulling up from anywhere, hitting threes. But he getting wide open looks in the game, and he shot an air ball the other night with the game on the line. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It's disrespectful, fam. It's dis dishonorable, fam. It's time to put this dude on the bench, man. I'm sorry to say it, bro, and I'm not sorry to say it, man. The Bucks are better off with him on the bench, trying to get Middleton back healthy, who went out again. Somebody hit Chris Middleton in his teeth. And he don't he went out and missed the game yesterday because somebody after the first six minutes hit this dude in his teeth. And so now he's gone. I said, man, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. And then Jalen Brunson, by himself, forget having Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, by himself, annihilated Dame Lillard. And he did it because they disrespected him in the All-Star Weekend. That's why he did it to him like that. Because he disrespected that man in the All-Star Weekend. They disrespected that man, bro. They disrespected Jalen Brunson in the All-Star Weekend, man. That was a disgrace, bro. For to have Dame. Starting over Jalen Brunson, when Jalen Brunson had clearly outplayed this dude. When Jalen Brunson is a top five MVP candidate. Jalen Brunson went out there yesterday and gave Dame 43 buckets. There was nothing Dame could do about it. He gave Dame 43, scorched him. And without Julius Brown, I'm sitting there looking at this thing like, it's just unbelievable. And Dame was 4 of 11 from the field. Dame, the only reason why Dame scored 20-some points, 23 points, is because he shot, he made 14 free throws. The man was only four of a, one of seven from the three-point line. And he got annihilated. And I mean annihilated by Jalen Brunson and everybody in the NBA is scared to tell the truth. They need to go ahead. They've been trying to, I guess, rest up Pat Beverly for the playoffs. They don't want to play Pat Beverly too much for the playoffs because Pat Beverly has a torn wrist. He has a torn muscle, uh, torn ligament in his wrist. He's not going to get surgery. And Pat Beverly was out playing this dude. When they started Pat Beverly, them couple of games with Dane missed uh, recently, Pat Beverly was balling. Yeah, he was out playing Dane. That's crazy, man. Doc just need to go ahead, bench Dame Lillard, Play Pat Beverly when he comes back for the playoffs and just rock like that, man, with Chris Middleton and that regular team. The Bucs have a better chance playing like that than they do with Dame Lillard. Man, Dame Lillard is a, is a joke, man. I'm sorry to say this, y'all. He should have never been top 75. He was cheated into the top 75 over Dwight Howard, over Kyrie Irving. Did you see Kyrie Irving yesterday? Did you see Kyrie Irving out here dropping 48 on catch yesterday, man? Did you see that, bro? At some point in time, let me say something, man. Everybody always want to talk about the coaches, the coaches, the coaches. Let me tell y'all something, bro. The coach is going to tell the players what they need to do. It's one of the players to execute the game plan. A lot of you guys have never played pro basketball. I played for 16 years. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it can be schemes. Sometimes it can be certain things. No, this is effort with this team. Because you've seen Dame and them play defense a couple of games, and some games they just don't do nothing. The dude is too cool for school. He out there trying to look too pretty on the court. He's walking around trying to like acting like he's styling on the court, like I'm Dollar, yeah, Dame Dollar, yeah, all this other stuff. Bro, he, I couldn't play with no cat like that. Too high maintenance, man. Too high maintenance, man. This man got annihilated. And that's not the first thing we're talking about. How Julie, how Jalen Brunson. Felt so disrespected that he didn't get voted for the All-Star game. That he straight annihilated, and I mean annihilated Dame Lillard. He took Dame Lillard apart. And Jalen Brunson has proven a point, everybody. They're one game. 
One game. One game within the Milwaukee Bucks. One. He annihilated that man. And I'm telling y'all what the truth is, bro. It ain't nobody calling it out for what it is. And Doc Rivers, man, you're getting too soft, man. Because Doc Rivers, you're the one that call it. You can bench Dane. You can bench Dane. You got heart. You can bench Dane. See, I'm different than cats like y'all. See, the old school coaches, you play like that, you're bench, bro. They don't care who you is, bro. See, that's the problem with y'all new era. Oh, man, you can't bench Dane. Why? Why can't I bench Dane? Why? Because you said so? No, you're bench, dog. You don't play. You don't perform. You don't do what we need you to do. You're benched, period. And I'm not playing no games with it either. I'm, de- I'm on point serious about this thing. On point, I would rather play a guy who's going to play hard and give it up to me all the time. And I'm square serious about this. Bro, Dame has been thoroughly outplayed by all the top guards in the league this year. Jalen Brunson dragged Dame this year. Oh, boy. Zero respect, old boy from Indiana. Zero respect and torch this dude. I don't want to hear about playoffs. People keep talking about, oh, Dame would be ready for the playoffs. When has he ever been ready for the playoffs except for two times out of 11 years? Two series out of 11 years. How many times has Dame been ready? You don't want me to pull up his playoff resume, sir. Because his playoff resume, outside of them two lucky shots, he's been getting carried and cooked his whole playoffs. See, this is why it lies. Like Robert Singleton come in, he don't really know basketball. Because if he knew Dame's resume in the playoffs and basketball, he would never say what he just said on that screen. Because Dame, his playoff resume is bigger fraud than his regular season resume. You don't want me to do that. That's the reason why LaMarcus Aldridge left Portland. It's because this dude was a fraud, shooting up all those bricks, shooting up all those bad shots. He ran LaMarcus Aldridge out of Portland. Don't make me do it to you, because I will cook you. What about when C.J. McCollum was the one against the Denver Nuggets without Jamal Murray, who got them past that series? Not Dame Lillard, because Dame Lillard froze up and did nothing in the clutch when it was a game on the line. What about the series against the Golden State Warriors when Steph Curry was hurt, didn't even play, and Dame Dollar got annihilated by Klay Thompson? Make it make sense? Huh, Robert Singleton, you want me to cook you? I will cook you. I will cook you. 11 years of fraud. 11 years of fraud. Steph Curry... Missed the first three games of the series. And Dane got annihilated by Klay Thompson. Annihilated. You said you know more than me. I give you that. Okay, well, be quiet then. Don't come in here talking about wait to the playoffs. If you don't know his playoff resume, I'll put you in timeout. Be quiet then. Sit in timeout, brother. If you don't know his playoff resume, be quiet. Be quiet, brother. Look at CJ McCullum right now. You put everybody used to blame. Say Dame had a bad man. Dame ain't had no playoff team, man. Dame ain't had no guys, man. Bro, look at CJ McCullum in his situation when you gave him playoff caliber players and look at and, and championship level players and look at the situation with Dame Dollar. You literally gave Dame Dollar four dudes that won a world championship. Literally. And this man fumbling the bag. CJ McCullum, who they didn't give CJ McCullum his proper respect. C.J. McCullum, who was averaging 20, damn it, all those years, they made they moved him over. They moved C.J. McCullum over to the New Orleans Pelicans. Look at the Pelicans versus the Bucks with Dame Lillard. See, you guys just talking, man. Y'all have not done y'all homework on Dame Lillard. Go look at all those series he folded in in the playoffs. Y'all keep talking about, oh, yeah, in the playoffs, acting like he's clutch. He's not clutch. His playoff resume proved he's not clutch. The man has made two shots in his playoff career. Two. Outside of that, he got torched his entire career in the playoffs. He had been getting torched, 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 torched. No, Wavy. I put him in timeout because he didn't know what he was talking about, just like you. Now you're in timeout. Sit down, Wavy. Now you're in timeout, sir. You got to come in here and know what you're talking about, brother. You can't just come in here saying any old thing. I'm sorry, man. The game don't work like that, bro. The game don't work like that, my brother. And I'm just being honest with you, man. And I don't want to hear about Middleton left the game with mouth trauma. They were losing all the other games with Middleton, bro. They they, they just, just didn't start yesterday. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, man. And see, you guys are afraid of Dame. You guys are afraid to tell the truth about Dame Dollar. Dame Dollar is getting literally exposed. This man cried his way out of Portland. 
the biggest crowd maybe in NBA history, the biggest turn job. First, you said you was loyal to the soil. I'm ten, I'm Dame Dollar. I'm ten toes down. I'm holding Portland down. Ain't no reason I'm leaving. I don't want to leave. I'm loyal to the city. All this other stuff. Then you tried to force your way out to a team that went to two NBA finals in four years. This was this is a team you tried to force yourself to. After you diss everybody else, you diss KD, you diss all the other dudes for going to super teams. This this what Dame did. He dissed Paul George, told Paul George and Kawhi and them, they ducking the grind. Switching up teams, ducking the grind. Remember he told them that in the bubble? He said, y'all do some chumps. Y'all switching teams, ducking the grind, man. But then what did Dame Dollar do? He tried to duck the grind. This is what he did. But don't nobody want to tell the truth except for me. I'm being honest with y'all about the situation, bro. I'm being very honest with y'all, man. The man absolutely got annihilated, bro. Annihilated. And people ain't saying nothing. Bro, Jalen Brunson have destroyed Dame this entire season. He have destroyed Dame Lillard. The entire season, he, he have destroyed Dame. Bro, let me tell y'all, no respect they have for Dame Lillard at this time. The boy from Indiana. The boy from Indiana. The point guard from Indiana. Somebody tell me what his name is in the comment section. The point guard from Indiana destroyed Dame. Bro, the first time he destroyed Dame, he did the, he, he did the Dame the Dame time. And act like the watch was broke. And Dame told him, yeah, man, you need to be humble. He said, Tyrese Halliburton. He said, he told Tyrese Halliburton after the game, you need to be humble. Did y'all know what happened? Tyrese Halliburton came right back next the next game and gave, and cooked that fool again. And did it again the very next game a couple a week later. A week later, Tyrese Halliburton turned right back around and cooked him again. And did it again. A destroyed Dame Lillard. And everybody was giving excuses. Oh, well, this, that, the third. No, 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 no. No excuses, man. Look, bro, they did They did not like Kyrie Irving. Bro, bro, this, this is the part where I tell y'all the truth about the game. Bro, they disrespected and tried to cancel Kyrie Irving, bro. They tried to cancel Kyrie Irving for personal disdain. So what did they do to Kyrie Irving? Didn't put him in the top 75, even though he should have been top 75 all time. Tried to strip him of his dignity, strip him of his level in his career. I want y'all to think all of this stuff, bro. They did all this to Kyrie Irving. Look at Kyrie Irving right now, y'all. Look at Kyrie. Kyrie is balling. Look at Kyrie and look at Dame. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But they put Dame over Kyrie, top 75. I don't care what you think about Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard took his own team to the NBA Finals. Dwight Howard won four uh, Defensive Player of the Year awards. Dwight Howard could have potentially won an MVP award. Dwight Howard has a Hall of Fame career just based off what he did in Orlando. And they, and they put Dame in the top 75 over Dwight Howard? Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. If Kyrie Irving was with the Bucks playing like this, the media would be trashing Kyrie Irving, bro. They would be. Kyrie Irving got away from the foolishness. He got away from KD and all the foolishness. He's in Dallas, balling, and the media don't even want to give that man his credit. They don't even want to give him his full credit. Meanwhile, Dane, because they like Dane, they won't even criticize this dude. It's all about who they like. It's all about who they like. I'm just telling y'all what the real is, bro. Y'all see this? Dame Lillard literally got annihilated. And they're going to talk about Doc Rivers. Doc was not on the court. Doc was not on the basketball court. Dame had been getting cooked by every elite guard this year. They have destroyed this dude. Go look at every guard this year have annihilated Damian Lillard. Every starting point guard in the NBA. Embarrassing, bro. And what Jalen Brunson did to him yesterday, bro. And I'm talking about Jalen Brunson hit this dude with the full 43-piece bucket barbecue sauce on deck. I, I just could not believe my eyes, man. I was hurt so bad, bro, watching this, man. And I'm like, bro, you begged to be in a situation, a championship-level situation. They trade you to a team that literally won a championship, bro. And you still crying and complaining. Nobody else is crying. 
Kyrie Irving wanted to be traded to the Lakers. They traded him to Dallas. He ain't crying. You know what Kyrie did? He balled. He ain't crying about missing no fam. He ain't crying about missing no He's balling. He balling. Then let's, let, 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 let's look at all of those players. Kawhi. Kawhi wanted to be traded to, to the Lakers. To before, this is before LeBron came. He wanted to be traded to the Lakers. Greg Popovich said no. He traded Kawhi to a different country. He traded Kawhi to Canada. And Kawhi went and made the best of it and won a championship. Balled out. This dude get traded to a championship, a team that won a championship. And this dude flunked in Robert Singleton. I hope the Bucs do win it all. But I guarantee you one thing, when they win it, it's going to be because of Giannis, not Dane. So it ain't going to be no reason for you to laugh because they're still going to get rid of him after this season. He's gone. He is gone. Nobody said Dallas ain't a bad city to go to. You're not hearing me. That's not the city that Kyrie wanted to go to. Kyrie did not ask to be traded to Dallas. Kyrie asked to be traded to L.A. They traded him somewhere where he didn't want to go, is my point. And he still showed up and balled out. He stayed, him and Luka was hurt last year. So that's the reason why they didn't make the playoffs. This year, look at them two this year. Look at Luka and Kyrie. You don't even hear, bro. It don't make no sense. You don't make, it don't make no sense. I'm looking at this, bro. Literally, bro, listen. I want y'all to really think about this, bro. And this, this shows y'all how messed up the NBA system is, bro. Bro. You can play better than another player. And they literally still get a handout over you. That there was if it, if anybody in this comment section agrees that Damian Lillard should not have, right? I'm gonna say it again. He should not have started in the All Star game over Jalen Brunson, bro. There is no way, bro. He should not have started in the All Star game over Tyrese Halliburton, man. I, I we, bro, when can everybody that's listening to this video just be honest, man? When can we tell the truth, bro? There's got to be some truth teller in here, man. I'll be honest with y'all, man. There has to be some truth telling in here, bro. It has to be, bro. There was no way that man is supposed to start in the All Star game over. If I, that's why Jalen Brunson keep cooking this dude. Jalen Brunson have literally led the Knicks because Julius Randle have been out most of the season. Jalen Brunson have led the Knicks, averaging almost thirty a game, balling, bro. And that man, and that man got disrespected out of starting the All Star game. They did him so dirty, bro. But then you turn around. Tyrese uh, Halliburton been balling, bro. Halliburton been balling. Tyrese Halliburton been putting up almost triple doubles, balling. Big assist. Ain't hey, leading the league in assists. All this. They he ain't even bro. And then here's what I knew Dane was a fraud. All this time, this man missing all these wide open shots with the Bucks. Soon as he goes to Indiana to All Star Weekend. Now he can't miss in the three-point contest. He's shooting threes from half court, hitting nothing but net in the All-Star game. But then as soon as he gets back to the real game, and getting wide open shots with the game on like shooting air balls. Come on, bro. Come on, bro, it's time for Doc to say, you know what? Middleton, Dame, I mean, honest, you two are the guys. We're going to have to bench Dame, man. And Dame, if you want to go home, we'll say it's personal issues, bro. And we'll just move you in the offseason. I'll, I'll be being honest with y'all, man. I'll start Pat Bev and just rock out like and the Bucks have a better chance to win like that, bro. Cause you can't win with no guy like Dave. I mean, too pretty, too high maintenance, man. I ain't got no time for that, bro. I tell the truth on my channel, bro. I tell the truth, man. It's easy for somebody with ashy ankles like Rob Parker to come out here talking about something. Oh, I have to blame it on Doc. How you gonna blame it on Doc, bro? They ain't been playing like trash the whole season, bro. Offensively and defensively. Offensively been inconsistent. Defensively, he's been very inconsistent. Just keep it a hundred, bro. Y'all don't want to see. That's the problem. We don't have no accountability for the players. We don't. And that's the, the era I used to come from. Like the era I came from, man, we used to hold the players accountable, bro. Bro, if you didn't play your game, bro, the players used to get cooked. We didn't always just go scream to coach to coach. No, we used to talk about the players, bro. Like, bro, this man ain't doing his job. Straight up. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Like, I want y'all to think about this. Imagine if Dame was playing with the Lakers, with LeBron James, and he was playing like this. Dame's career, his legacy would be destroyed. The fact that he's playing with Giannis and the fact that he's being coached by Doc, those guys are the ones that's going to get all the excuses. It's not going to be Dame. He's protected. 
See, that's the reason why Dane never wanted to go to L.A. Because LeBron wanted Dame in L.A. LeBron is looking at Dame now like, man, I'm glad I didn't get that dude over here. I'm be honest with y'all. If Dane was playing like this with the Lakers, they would do him worse than they did Russell Westbrook, bro. I promise y'all this. They would have annihilated this man's career had he would have went to the Lakers and played like this. Seriously. That Dame Lillard would have done no smoke. And that's the one thing that I will say. If you play with LeBron James and you play like this, you will get called out. These are facts. You might not get that much credit, but you are going to get called out. And the fact that the media is not calling out Dame Lillard for this trash play, they're not calling out Dame Lillard for this trash. And remember, Dame was the one said he was on Steph Curry's level. Dame said this. He the one said he the best point guard in the league. He the one said he was on, on Steph Curry's level. So why we ain't giving him the Steph Curry treatment? Why we ain't treating him like Steph Curry? I'm just saying you literally, if you get, let me tell y'all something. If you took Steph Curry off the Warriors right now and you switched him with Dame and put him with Giannis, the Bucs are the number one team in the NBA. Let me repeat myself again. Can everybody in this comment section agree with what I just said? If you took Steph Curry right now off the Warriors and you put him with this Bucs team, the Bucs are the number one team in the league with Steph Curry and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Let me keep going. If you would have put Kyrie Irving with Giannis Antetokounmpo, this team is way better. If you put Kyrie Irving, a real baller, Kyrie Irving with Giannis Antetokounmpo, team re way better, way better. Let me keep going. I'm, I'm going to keep going with y'all. If you would have put Luka Donich with Giannis Antetokounmpo, way better the team, way better, way better. If you would have put Shea with Giannis, way better. If you would have put Jalen Brunson with Giannis, way better. Dame is literally the only guard in the league that you put with Giannis and the team get worse. I'm being real. I'm being real. See, y'all don't understand this. Dame was running around here saying he was on all them dudes' level. He the best point guard in the league. He on Steph's level. Remember, he was just saying Steph had better teams. So if Steph had better teams... You literally have a team that won a championship. What's your problem? Now, everybody talking about location, where he lived, where he played at, man. Get out of here, man. It's a lot of excuses for this guy, bro. A lot of excuses. And y'all want to keep blaming the coaches and blaming all stuff when this dude is on the court getting torched. He's on the court shooting bricks, getting torched. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And I'm just telling y'all right now, man, I gave y'all all those guards, bro. Bro, the Bucs would be better if they had Tyrese Maxey than Dame Dollar. The Bucs would be better if they had Tyrese Hallenburton than Dame Dollar. I'm giving y'all all the guards in the league. All these guards I'm giving y'all in the league, they'd have been better. All the guards. It's only one guard in the league right now I can look at that I can say, you know what, they'll be equal or worse. And that's James Harden. But other than that, I'm just being honest with y'all, man. If you put Steph Curry right now, Dane was saying he's on Steph level that Steph just had better teams. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And you know what? This this type of stuff proves that it's levels to this, bro. This stuff right here proves it's levels. Steph Curry always was on a different level, bro. And, I, and you know what? I used to misjudge Dane. I used to think, man, Dane needed – if he had Steph Curry's team, he, nope, nope, nope. It's levels to this, bro. It's, it's levels, man. Steph Curry. Way better than Dame Lillard, bro. Way. It's not even close. It's not even close. You, look, listen, I'm going to tell you all this right now. Steph Curry and Dame Lillard is not even close. It's not close. It's not close. It's not close. Completely different level, y'all. Not even close. Completely different level. Not even close. Y'all cut that noise out. So I'm just telling y'all, man, what the real is, man. It's sad, bro. The situation is sad, man. And so, again, man, all them players, bro, I'm giving y'all all these players, bro. All them players would have been better, man. It's sad, but it's true, bro. I like I like to tell the truth on my channel, bro. Like, um, And I'm hurt. I'm truly hurt because, um, and the reason why I, I say I'm truly hurt, I'm truly hurt, you guys, because I'm, I'm telling the truth. I'm literally telling the truth to you guys, man. Like, 
it's a sad situation to, to witness. You know what I'm saying? It really is, man. Any of those players I told y'all, you put with Giannis. That's instant. And see, that's the test right there. But guess what? If you put Dame on any of those other teams, they get worse. If you put Dame on any of those other teams, they get worse, y'all. Any of those other teams. If you put Dame on any of those other teams, they get worse. Well, they say, ticket, what you mean? Okay, let me give you an example. If you put Dame with Luka, they worse. They worse than what they is right now. If you put Dame, if you put Dame with the Golden State Warriors and took off Steph Curry, they're not even in the playoffs. I mean, they're not even in the play-in. They're not even in the play-in. I'm proving y'all a point. You switch Dane with Steph Curry right now. They're not even in the play-in. The, the Warriors in the temp seed right now. If they had Dane, bro, the Warriors would be the worst team in the NBA. Think about this. I'm giving y'all facts. Put Dane in Indiana and switch him with Halliburton. Indiana's not even a playoff team. They're not even a playoff team. In the East, they're not a playoff team. They're not. The, 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 and I'm, I'm going to give y'all proof right now. In the East, in the East, in the East, the Indiana Pacers right now in the East are a six seed. If Dame is with the Pacers, they're a 10th seed right now. I mean, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Keeping it real, bro. Keeping it. If Dame was with the Knicks, the Knicks will be a 10th seed, ninth seed. He don't play no D. The Knicks are a fourth seed right now. With Dame, they'll be a ninth seed. I, I, hey, look, all I'm doing is, is showing you guys, you understand what I'm saying? All of these different things. It's not hypothetical talk. I'm giving you the real. So hold on. How many of y'all think the Golden State Warriors would be, would, be, would be better if they had Dame right now in, in exchange for Steph Curry? How many people in the comment section think that the Golden State Warriors would be better? Since you said this is hypothetical, sir. How many people in the comment section think that the Golden State Warriors, who are currently in 10th place in the Western Conference, 10th place, how many of y'all think that they would be better with Dane than they are with Steph Curry? I I'm waiting in the comment section. Since this dude said we talking hypothetical, let's keep it 100 right now. How many of y'all think Sacramento would be better how many of y'all think Sacramento will be better with Dane than with the point guard they got now? Don't nobody believe, dog. Don't nobody don't nobody believe, bro. The Pelicans aren't better with Dane. If you took off C.J. McCollum. Phoenix is not better with Dane. If you took off uh, Devin Booker. Dallas is not better than Dane if you took off Kyrie Irving. OKC is not better with Dane. You think, you think Dane could win 53 games with OKC in the West this year? Y'all really think that? Y'all really think that? Y'all do y'all think the Denver Nuggets will be better with Dame Lillard over Jamal Murray? Come on, bro. Let's, let's stop this foolishness, man. Let's stop this foolishness, bro. Cause y'all easy to beat, man. Y'all easy to beat, bro. Y'all easy to beat, man. You said it's about being in a good situation. He's with a championship team right now, brother. What are you talking about, bro? Time out, man. I can't talk to dudes that don't know basketball. Time out, brother. You're in timeout, man. You're in timeout, brother. You're in timeout, man. I ain't argue with you, bro. You're in timeout, my brother. Much much love to you, brother. You're in timeout, though, man. I can't argue with you, brother. That man literally playing with four or five dudes that have won a championship. What's the excuse? Bobby Portis, Giannis, uh, uh, Middleton, Brooke Lopez, all them dudes have won a championship. Pat Connaughton, all them dudes have won a championship, bro. Cut it out, man. Cut it out, bro. We're not finna do make these excuses, bro. You come in here and make excuses, bro. I'm just gonna put you in time out, brother. Shout out to the brother Thomas Stewart in the cash having a donation. He said the media do be, he said the media do be ducking dang smoke. Yeah, they do. 
They do. I'm just being honest with y'all. They do, bro. It's sad, man. You don't never see the media cooking Dame. They never hold Dame accountable, bro. Think about this, bro. They always talk about Doc or somebody else. They never talk about how Dame getting cooked. Ever. Dame got some real protection in the media, bro. Real protection. Shout out to the brother Kennard Brooks uh, in the cash app as well with the donation, man. Salute to you, my brother. You ain't no message, but salute to you, homie. I appreciate you for that. I'm just telling y'all what the real is, bro. I'm telling y'all what the real is. In Portland, you can do whatever you want to do. Jack up all the shots you want to jack up. Anything. And then not nobody going to say nothing. Now you can't do that no more. You actually have to really play basketball now on a winning level. And now when they ask you to do that, you can't. And again, I just named y'all every other point guard in the league. Every other point guard, the Bucks would be better than with, than with Dame Lillard. I'm be honest. Everybody watches this. Every other point guard in the National Basketball Association would be better. Every other one would be better. And y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know I ain't lying. It's embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing. It really is. And do I hope it can get fixed? I wish it could. Because it need to be. But it's embarrassing. It's truly embarrassing. And so, again, man, you know, they yeah, they blame CJ in Portland, sir. And look at CJ McCollum without him with the Pelicans. CJ McCollum, you gave him with the Pelicans when none of them dudes won a championship and they look more dangerous. CJ McCollum and that other team. Nobody gave CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum was carrying them a lot of them series. A lot of most of the series, CJ McCollum was carrying and not getting his credit. The professional, Stefan, CJ McCollum. We ain't call him Steve Urkel. We call him Stefan. Right? Yeah, I'm just telling y'all what the real is. It's over with, bro. It's over with, man. So, yeah, man, y'all boy, I know y'all like Dane. He ducked all smoke. And that's the sad part about professional basketball is that they have allowed this dude to duck all criticism, all smoke he have ducked. And so everybody else get criticized except for Dane Lillard, man. I don't find it right. That don't sit well with me, man. It doesn't. It does not sit right with me, man. It does not sit right with me, man. You know what I'm saying? It does not sit right with me, brother. And I can't never respect that, bro. And, and they ain't need to be destroyed, bro, because he is not playing, bro. This sad what's going on with him. This sad what's going on with him. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? It's sad what's going on with him. I'm just saying, man. He cried and complained. Talked about everybody else ducking the grind, all this other stuff, and look at him, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm still rolling with the bus because of Giannis. That's my last hope is Giannis and Teddy Kumpo. I don't have no faith in Dane Little. He might play a good game here or there, but that's it. Robert Franklin, tell Jabbar, I said, what's good, homie? Salute. Jabbar the homie, man. Tell him I said what's good. I know you talking about big Jabbar. That's my boy, man. Tell him I said what's good, man. Salute to him. You live in Connecticut. Salute to him. Yeah, tell Barry I said what's up, homie. Barry, what's good, boy? <laughs> so, yeah, man. Shout out to my boy, Barry. Hey, Barry, hit me up, man. I'm going to hit you up, dog. Hit me up, dog. You talking to him now, Robert Franklin? Tell me I said hit me, man. Tell Barry I said hit me, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm just telling y'all. 